on space and circumference. And the basal parameter is the CA. You know, I utilize cardinal air, fixed water, mutable fire. You know. Sometimes the imagination shows where you're gonna fall. Alright, lights. What your spirits really wanna go to heaven for? Yeah. I just swept the floor, I love just like a checkerboard. When you ask God, being too, how do you go up to the water weather stars? Yeah. Life is all about experience, but you know that you're never sure. You're the other light guy, yeah, nobody knows the flight boss knows. On one hand, you got Malaku, the other hand, you got the cosmos. Yo, let me flow until it's broken, shit, it's similar to when a bomb blows. Baby, I'm about a cheese, but you want the Taco Bell, got some nachos. Damn, shit is getting in our dreams. Pillars on the brother side of us, now we getting in between Then you walk up three steps, when you're going past on the altar So we taking no bullshit, when you're trying to pass on the father You think you really know about the constellations, but that's the author Who cut you in a third dimension, now I got the mention that it's a gospel Yeah, I done seen that heaven God damn, the father man, three degrees ahead of three, five, seven Yeah, that's that, three, five, seven Five, that's that, three, five, seven Five, that's that, three, five, seven Five, damn, what's going on in your brain Yeah that emotional parting. Do you got to something together or is your heart emotionally hardened? Smell, taste, hear, see, feel after you'd have made you a triangle. Got that little bitty light inside you that'll made you survival. Yeah. Need to dance a little bit. Get together cause all is all. Everybody look we all the stars. Maybe we are flying off the car. Directions got us looking both ways. Go back to that means something like the OJ. Gotta get our character together, merge like the Siamese. Maybe got my eyes getting low, squirting like the Chinese. Got me chilling in the sky like the birds like the Siamese. The Greeks put a little point, make a curve like a 90. Things in your surroundings you need to express more relatable. The third, fifth, and the seventh house. When shit gets spooky, bet I'm out. Everybody lay your lesson now. What is going on in your brain? We about to go into a whole nother world. All aboard, we are in a plane. Let's dance, three, five, seven. Five, let's dance, three, five, seven. Five, tell me what's going on in your brain. Yeah, tell me what's going on in your brain. Let's dance, three, five, seven. Five, let's dance, three, five, seven. teach y'all how to how we formulate it how you can make a new glorified body even mentally even before you die and this one expire you come down here with some whole new godly knowledge you got a whole new idea you got a whole new encapsulation of that thought you give it a whole brand new name you live that expression down here when you play it out through your body the shadow government don't know what to do with you but copy y'all say a real shit because they like what is this this spirit inside that mind inside that sephiroth inside that spaceship inside that fruit have been then and created some heli type of goddamn actual fruit organ and goddamn it have a vibration or adrenaline or blood that spirit know how to create adrenaline mind bending in and become blood plasma and all this motherfucker shit man that's some new type of shit we ain't never seen that before y'all you know said what is that whatever you do with it you tell them it's god y'all you know said real shit Whatever you do with it, you tell them it's God. You ain't look to the, you ain't look to the left to do. You ain't look to the left to do it. Thank you so much for the donation. Not Naga, 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 Nashi, eighty-eight. Real shit, real shit. You said that song guys got me through the hardest times. Real shit. And you ain't have to listen to no whole six-hour Manly P Hall lecture. No, 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 no. Can't no Mason put nothing in musical terms. They don't. They don't not do one or the other or something. And they and they knowledge is phony. 
So that's why. So it has to be a long rhetoric or something like that. So they only know how to do a lecture and they still don't know shit. Thanks so much for the donation, Carl Scott. Appreciate that for Walmart. Uh, it's in the um. Damn, I didn't even put in the definition. In the, it's Dolo the Poly Man. Cash at, at the Dolo the Poly Man. Um, but yeah, real shit. So I teach y'all some some real metaphysics. Some the 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 deepest esoteric hidden craft. That's what I'm about to teach y'all. Oh, uh, sad. And and I'm about to show y'all how they crafted the world. Even to the point that some of the people y'all think run the world ran up under these systems too. And it, it'll be like a whole Masonic Jesuit lodge that think they Masons and Jesuits that's practicing something that ain't called Masonry, but it's based on it's based on the gilding concept still. So when you when you understand how to uh follow the practice, you'll be able to understand what's going on. And even when you plan Sonic to hit y'all and you get all the motherfucking seven gemstones and shit, and it looks like this. And it's motherfucker shit. And you and, and this is gonna help you understand this in the middle is you being a north pillar or a center pillar, which is not actually a chakra at all. It's just your spirit having observations over these things. And if we do make an image about that, we call it ether or we call it the, the seat or something like that. But it's just the it's just something we're pointing to based on the spirit being nothing, the observer and it having attributes of the things it created so it could be observed by other spirits doing the same thing. So we create what we call awareness. So the observer create awareness and awareness is what could be observed. And once you peel back all layers, you start to realize even beyond physical, the spirit is the observer and the spirit create the awareness because there's nothing there to be aware of unless the spirit becomes aware itself. So the first form or the first body you create, you can only be inside that. So this is how we first create ourselves from the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. I mean, from the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension conception. Because, and when you understand following that kind of light, it leads you into understanding when the Catholicism and things of that nature be talking about let us make man in our image or the first sun or the first light when you practice that as your own witchcraft and you don't look at it like a history book or 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 a motherfucker follow the people you see what they are practicing for, thank you so much for the donation cash Carl I appreciate that you see what they are practicing for them to have it from their subjective point of view so that's when you're going to that space for yourself to understand what they're talking about so you don't externalize it and get lost into you thinking you know God's word or something like that. And none of that has anything to do with all possibilities because y'all all lost up under their practice, especially you Christians. Now, look, when you when you see that light, the only thing that you're basically seeing is you being aware of yourself. And now that separates you from the mind because once you start to get into what you're seeing in that world, you're actually seeing nobody else technically. So it's things in your mind. And if you are the one observing that state of awareness, then it's your chakra, your mind. And this is that witchcraft that they're encapsulating the term of your inner light. And this is where you receive or you could create certain alignments with that inner light in order to have certain portals into other areas to develop or Jewish term receive other ideas. And since you didn't generally have that idea stuck in whatever bias or desire you have, this gives them the justification when they was creating this practice of the term receiving from something greater than them. So they was able to encapsulate that and do it in their micro version. So they started to see the macro versions as physical and metaphysical as the stars representations of what they was receiving that was claiming to be unseen. So once they start to understand the mechanisms of the things that they was pointing to to represent what's unseen, this gets us into the actual concept of as above, so below astrology, which is astronomy. It's all the same thing. When you understand the mathematics of a macro travel, the star, you can micro-size that and understand your own internal virtue, star, mechanics, and then that turn into astrology. For an example, for you to know how to interact with your opposite in a particular way, let's say you got somebody who's disagreeing with you. For you to not do a head-on collision and you to make it more relatable, you will practice an as-above energy of when the sun goes in this 180 degree opposite angle and it goes into 6 p.m. or it goes into fall time. So when you when you create a practice around that, one of the first starting points you create is 
understanding when you too expressive, you don't have no time to listen. Once upon a time, a wise man and wise woman ta taught me that a person who's talking using that organ can't listen at the same time. A person who's too expressive wanting to be seen has no time to sit back and see other people characteristics. So it allow it allow us to create as above so below context into understanding the relationships between balance between me and you. Now, there's tr thousands of subsidiaries. I just I just broke that one down as an example because that's one of the main ones they got y'all worshiping. That alignment. The one in the 80 degree angle, God versus Satan, opposites, masculine, feminine. That's just one of the main ones. But it's the whole astrology. It's Transits when we're breaking down transits. This is me being a high priestess that they would have been breaking down back then using the same terms uh, This different language Pointing to the same ramifications and things of that nature. So this is what you need to understand Alignments or transits are esoteric cryptography. So when you understand geomancy and cryptography, right? You're understanding mental formation, which is alignment and if you want to practice that as like a ritual down here, what would you do is have a few people around you, have one person stand in front of you, have one person stand behind you, have one person stand counter quarter, have one person stand on the left, have one person stand on the right. And then all y'all close your eyes and just ponder on the auras that y'all are having. Because as a spirit, it's your space. And then y'all develop states of awareness around your spirit. That's your mind, your chakras, your desires, your kundalini. They're all the same terms. It's all practicing the same practice, right? But it's your aura, your energy. That, that's unseen because it ain't condensed yet to become an organ or physical. Then when y'all sit there and ponder on that, all y'all are going to feel and think differently about each other. And I'm not talking about y'all being lost in the world based upon talking about a subject or sports. I'm talking about when y'all sit and do this as a practice and y'all just ponder, pondering on the energy of each of y'all position that y'all play in in y'all physical forms representing y'all spirit. And you're going to start to see the energy that you're starting to experience it's just purely the, the alignment. And you're going to come up with words like, the reason I feel this way about homeboy or homegirl behind me is because they behind you. The only reason you feel this way about this person in front of you is because they're in front of you. The only person you're getting this energy, and I'm, t and I'm telling y'all not to be lost into the world. I'm telling y'all how to observe the energy so you can train your mind of how to see colors and numbers beyond the physical so you can start having control over the circumstance and situation. But these are just practices that you could do with your, your friends to build your mind. See, Masons, Jews, and Jesuits don't got real shit that's in school for y'all. They got dumb shit. This the type of shit that need to be in like gym class and all this kind of shit. Exercising the mind muscle and things of that nature. So when it plays out in other areas in the life of a child growing up, the, the mind is developing in areas towards their creative gifts and talents that, ex that expand. That's, that's actually more beneficial for the world. So that everybody growing up and still being rocked to sleep by people that they was calling big homies just to become a Kemet person or Hebrew Israelite or something. You know what I'm saying? Now look. So when you're you're teaching the spirit, which is all of us in minds and bodies, how to be sensitive to the other intuitions. So you're not just sensitive to this chakra and that bent in on itself to make the frontal lobe and the third eye and the eyeballs and shit. And the first sign shit because the Jews and science got y'all thinking from an esoteric and um, scientific perspective that the brain scientific crown chakra first eye chakra esoteric spiritual is the most important area to pay attention to but these are just all your all your forms are eyes all your minds are eyes all your chakras are eyes and you got a collection of lower ones I call them the more inner ones and you got a collection of uh, um, higher ones I call them the more um, left brain uh the more external ones so they get y'all lost in up down left right so you the left brain is correlated to up the right brain is correlated to down when you understand it from a spiritual perspective and you well around it how you made each organs in the first place you see what i'm saying and then you will start to understand how to make a yin and yang to all perceptions of it when it comes to external and internal in the totality for an example internal on a totality is inside but everything has a yin and yang. So we have an external representation of that and an internal representation of that. So internal in a totality will be yin. But you have a you have a, a version that you push out like yang, like external, that'd be fire. So only you can see your visions inside of you. If you choose to use your air and earth to express it, that's the external representations. And then for the most part, um, you have that internal yin. And that's the water. And that's the fire condensing. So when you get your internal water cycle together, you get to produce the lighter mechanisms to show others how you produce the heavy mechanisms and heavy mechanisms in the first place when we was all micro. 
And therefore, you see the transitions when you express your air and earth, the shape of it and the air, the lightness of it. But it's that actual transition of fire and water uh, coming together and fire and water. These are the lighter versions of water and fire, air and earth, your heavens and your throne. You know what I'm saying? The rain and your throne. And then for the most part, or your crown, or your queen, your or the, whatever you call the queen one, the, the, the tiara. And then for the most part, it, the, the air and the earth show you it comes from the fire and the water. And then the fi and then it shows you how we made the water and the fire in the first place. So fire and water on a, mi on a micro scale played out as air and earth. But it was actually fire and water. And once it get big and you create a body to be inside of it, a mind and an atmosphere, teamwork makes the dream work, atmosphere, the mind, your own bubble out of that part that own particle out of that wave and then for the most part you're able to see it uh, within that context and things of that nature as far as the the fire water air and earth and you be it encapsulated in that shit hold on i had a motherfucking point it comes from the fire and the water and then the fire yeah so it, it, it so on a very fire so place. air so and fire earth and air and earth is fire and water at the early stages but it is fire and water and we able to make breath, air, and earth material derived out of the movement and condensing from us producing fire and water from inside of us on our micro scale. And on a micro scale of it, we see the transition of it. Air and earth. Time. From point A to point B. Light becoming heavy. But it comes from the internal vision and connection. Fire, water. And when you understand that little correlation practice... You, you Now you can start the understandings of all of their practices as far as the starting point. Because it took a man and woman to have that as a starting point to even start deriving any type of allegories on it and duplicating, and duplicating it and experiencing it over time to see all the ins and outs and what's right and what's wrong and how to use it for your benefit and how to, and how to motherfucker see what's wrong with it. You see what I'm saying? Now. So don't even let nobody tell you that they know the word of God because they read in the Bible and they read they read in a better interpretation of the Bible. Because if they if they start to call you pseudo or or voodoo or something like that, just tell them that they're a slave mind and that's actually what they are. A walking contradiction. Because it takes a ritual or some type of magical practice to, to be able to see this divine revelation based on the way they explain it. Because the divine it is separate from the language because if you're gonna tell me this is God's word, you telling me God's word is some man-made Greek language or some man-made Latin language. A man had to make a language, so that takes us into divine revelation argument, aka you're basically arguing that God have the ability to give give man the knowledge to make these things. So this is this this turns into confirmation bias, and oh, since it's older and more people believe it, I'm right. And it's genetic fallacy also. So all of these are logical fallacies that the common theologian or the conscious community individual may not be able to observe. But when you when you when a when a person start to argue from another person's la la land, aka divine revelation, I don't care if you believe they divine revelation and you mad that I don't believe it. Let's just look at the practice. Stop following people and worshiping titles and giving titles and, and idols to men, right? Because they because they had something in their mind. You need to know that that's what's going on. Divine, we need to argue divine revelation because, and then you need to tell them that's magical thinking. That's a practice because you you did some magical thing that you're able to look at any language and be able to see God's word because you separated God's word from a man creating a language. So your argument you should be having is God gave man some type of way to make that language and that's the language God wanted. But then going down that line of reason and a train of thought, you know, that'd be a dumb argument too. Because now it's still only justified through the person who created that intellectual property. Because it always starts subjective because a man wrote ink. A man created ink to write the language. So all of that is stupid. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody talking about they know God's word, you don't even understand that's a practice. A practice is being able to understand someone beyond language. So if me and you connect, if me and you can agree on terms and conditions and we could be relatable, 
even without conversating and we could be on this kind of energy that's speaking the language of God so anytime we can't build anything at no matter we speak the same language or not if we don't agree on no terms and conditions and we agree on terms and conditions it don't matter if you speak Japan and I speak English if we got a common goal to build this building we can build that building so that's what it's actually talking about as the language of God or God word these are things that men and women are pointing to and calling it these names but it's a practice and when you actually practice it you see what that they are actually doing you see what I'm saying so God's word is just a title somebody gave anytime somebody explaining something that they received in their head that can help somebody else in an emotional state you know what I'm saying that's it and then you get it from the man the masculine thought idea that's what a, a man means thought thought creating an oath with an idea that that you want to help benefit you in some way shape or form to get you out of some flauntness in some way um um so that's how you see god's word regardless of the language if it's something in that word that can you that you can use based on the meaning that can help you out of a flunked out situation that's how you find god's word not being a stupid human and saying oh this is separate from this is a real god and i need to separate it from men who wrote these words and i need to go find god's word into another man who wrote words you know i said this is your contradiction but you don't think about it that way because you're unintelligent you're just a demon and you think you're on the internet teaching and you think you intelligent but you don't even understand oral tradition and the practice and to do it to even see what the common human was even pointing to before they written it down for you to get indoctrinated by that interpretation. So always, always keep that in mind because you will have people on the Internet right now talking about trying to decipher the Bible and try to make it seem like people who bring all the things of the Bible together is wrong. And the meaning of the Bible now or the way King James wrote it or something like that is for people to, to get out the natures. And they just as lost as anybody that they arguing about because all of it is a practice. Let's talk about who created the practice. For an example, if we're talking about a snake, we know a snake is a correspondence to desires. So it don't matter what civilization I see a snake. Somebody had to been practicing a group of men and women coming up with the idea, let's call a snake a desire. So anytime you see a snake, it's going to be correlated to a desire in one civilization, a chakra in another civilization, a demiurge in another civilization, a god or a Satan in another civilization, a motherfucking uh, a star or something like that in another civilization. So people get lost. So when you hear things about, uh, so when a person try to argue one for the other, they're retarded. They're a fool. Because this is what you need to understand. When you hear about the sons of God, it's talking about the suns, the stars. Other than that, there will be no other term that the, the, the descendants of the Masons is using to call that star a sun. Whether you're using O-N or U-N. It comes from the starting point of how we created language language, and, we're, we're, and what we're pointing to. So if we're calling that something where we came from and we're calling that a sun, if, if these terms come from occult books 2,000 years ago and we hear shit like sons of God, then we understand what son of man mean and daughter of man mean. You being born up under the son of God. So if you was born up under this airy son, you're that version of a son of, of a son of man or, or, or a daughter of man. Man mean thought. So it bends in on itself and feeling means and a feeling means woman. So when it bend in on itself, it become flesh. Man becoming flesh. Son of man. The sons are God's thoughts. The sephiros are God's thoughts. The sun is God's thought. Solar practice. So that's how they created the Kabbalah tree and the sephiros. God, learning how God mind move, practicing it down here, you move like God. As above, so below. Stamp it. Not for you to get lost in your motherfucking stupid ass literature in your book and Christianity and think you trying to teach somebody else in some dumb ass lecture school. You retarded. You don't know what you talking about. You see what I'm saying? So motherfuckers don't be knowing what they talking about because they don't understand to practice these things for themselves. They just under, they just know how to learn it. And their way of learning is Jesuitism. So they only know how to learn it based on teaching it to others and the ramification of thinking they know about it. They don't know how to practice it and see what the common human was pointing to, whether you spoke the language or was with that in that civilization or not. You don't follow people in history. You follow the practice. Then when you follow the practice, you will start to see who was even weak at doing that practice. For an example, 
I might say something like Masonry, you might want to go back to 70, 1776 and George Washington. When George Washington was doing a practice, a gilder practice. So then you know what George Washington was practiced before you try to argue with me and say you sound pseudo because Masonry was started in 1776. Now you retarded because before they called it Masonry, what was they practicing? In order for them to even be going through experiences to invert it or outvert it or call it that name and do it in a subsidiary way in the first place. You don't got that level of mentality to go down that line of reason or train of thought. This is how, this is how you wipe the floor of people. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, Chris, I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for the donation, big brand. Real shit. That, that's how you wipe the floor with people who, th who think they intellects, but they get ready to give you a book and call it God's word. What the fuck is you talking about? The fuck is you talking about? Do you know what they, do you know what they was talking about when this is God's word to even make it word and put meanings behind it so the common individual to be able to spot it so even if the other individual see them same words they may not be able to see it based upon a person who's internally with their internal chakras their internal mind state their internal first eye your intuitions another word for that bitch a person with the right intuition and moral psyche will be able to see that same word than a person who can't and be able to take that access out the Bible. Even if all the words mean the same thing and everybody agree on the terms and conditions. A one person will be able to see a fruit from a tree or shit in a toilet bowl and be able to see it very different than another person who see fruit from a tree and shit from a, po a toilet bowl. Uh, a, a person who's scientific lost in their mind, they'd be like, oh, what fruit they talking about? An apple? Oh, they had toilets back in the biblical days. And Jacob, they must they must knew Vince McMahon and WWE back then. A spiritual mind to hear that and be like, oh, fruit. Fruit means the, the mind state that I did to make my organs fruitful or to make me be desirable as far as what's on my mind. Oh, the shit in the toilet bowl means I don't need to be speaking about the bullshit I have created for myself, a.k.a. my spirit being in my lower chakras, creating bullshit the way I create sperm cells or egg cells to bring my flesh here, which is the dead. You see what I'm saying? So a spiritual person to be able to see it from that, from a speculative concept. But at the same time, you have monkey ass motherfuckers on, in, in this world right now. Theologians can't get past the term Jacob wrestling with God and don't, don't know how to go down that line of reason and train the thought of the practice to see what they're actually talking about. So they'll be arguing arguing with you like, no, how you know wrestling ain't, wasn't invented 2,000 years ago? Bitch, they created the term wrestling and created it in today's time. The term wrestle itself ain't necessarily mean grappling. You see what I'm saying? So if we're making an image, if you understand Masonic art, Jesuit intellect, uh, um, and Jewish literature, Jewish literature is the writings. Masonic art is drawing them out. Jesuit intellect is understanding what you're observing. So if you see Jacob wrestling with a demon or some shit like that, that is a that is an allegory to Jacob being an idea. Anytime you have an idea, they call it Jacob. When you're wrestling with a desire, they call that one a beast. And therefore, that's the allegory, not Jacob being an actual person down here. Because you don't you don't understand how they wrote these books with a mystic mind. You're retarded. See what I'm saying? Don't let nobody fool you in this world, especially on the motherfucking internet. They don't know shit. If you ain't, and if you ain't into matching, if you ain't into matching, secretism, aligning things, blending things together, right? Then you will, you will lost in the sauce. You won't know how to, you don't, you won't know what the shadow government is practicing to have everybody together, and to create the divide and conquer spell, where they can create small subsidiaries that cater to everybody's minor biases and make them think that they're doing something for that. When they still doing something that the shadow government want them to do anyway, which is how they create one world governments and y'all got denominations arguing amongst each other, but y'all are arguing from them sh their shit. That's the practice right there. So if you're not able to understand secretism and understand those alignments and stuff like that, and you're arguing from an atheist point of view or a science point of view or a religious versus religious point of view, then that's why you a walking version of a witchcraft because they're actually doing the divide and conquer spell on you while doing the synchronicity. To do it. The witchcraft is the synchronicity. Let's bring this together from Egypt. Let's bring Abrahamic religion. All the three geographical locations over there. Baal, um, Brahma, and, and, and motherfucking uh, um, Ham. And bring those things together as one world view. Make all those different indigenous lands they took over. Over Jordan Rivers and shit like that. Think like them. And then fuck them. And made them Arabs. That's that's what everybody race is. A mixed subsidiary of that. And then that's why all when y'all go to y'all true religion. Y'all sound like Arabs. It's as above so below. Same shit. And they make new men and women. Change your mind and change y'all race. And make y'all master builders. A.K.A. Egyptians. A.K.A. slaves. And, they, and, and it's the same thing. Same practice. No matter the geographical location. They just started in Africa. So all these stories that you're hearing is what they did. Not what you did. Motherfucker. How you think you over here in the Western Hemisphere now, bitch? 
They didn't bring your race over nowhere. They just came over here and start fucking all their indigenous people. And by that time, them, that's not your family. Your family already a mixture of George Washington's and them. And after like a hundred or two years, that that mixed indigenous land that got took over a group of people who got raped. After they just fuck each other because they up under the Bole system and stuff like that. Then the darker the race become. So these names is is purely based on pure Puerto Rican, purely based on how much a mutt a person is. Not separating. That's the 12 tribe of Chudas. And that's why they was long, hanging the darkest people on trees and calling them low hanging fruit. Because these were people made out of people who were fucking the most without being gilders. So these were people who was already, their grandmas and shit got raped by the people who came and took over their indigenous land and then things became normal and then you got all the little races on that geographical colony 13 version and then that become that tribe. But for the most part, that, that, the, the, the more that that generation wasn't part of the Bole and is fucking out of wetlock and stuff, because this actually created the starting point of depopulation control too and presidents. But all, after they all fuck, the, the darker the individuals be, but they base it on because these people ain't trying to build like us anyway and trying to get our insurance anyway. So that's why that race is becoming that dark after we already uh, met them. So they look at y'all automatically as low hanging fruit. Y'all thinking y'all was always that dark since the beginning of time and 2000 years ago and shit like that. No, all races is just like one thing. It's just when we just start mixing this shit from different water cycles and Earth and land get shaped and derived out of the water. So the different land mass and the interaction, a, a, a little bit of uh, genetic, um, what they call that, um, microevolution, a little bit got to be added to it. Not all of it is right, but a little bit of this got to be added to it based upon geographical location and, and the interactions with the sun and the environment. The only part of the science that they missing is we are the sun and the water. That's one thing, taking one transition and the interactions is producing what we're calling skin and snake skin and things of that nature. So based on the geographical location you're on, you're going to have that natal tongue and that natal response and reaction because you're made out of that, not just the sun being there and let's create a science because we don't know that we are these things as a transition. So that's wrong saying that the sun, uh, a person being in a geographical location is, is, uh, is the cause of the color. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to take you into dumb other arguments like, well, I could be dark or I could be white and I could I could move somewhere where it's real hot. How come my skin color don't change? No, it don't have y'all separating the sun from you while still trying to say you from it. You are these things. When water interact, it produces what we're calling what we are, like carbon and all that shit. That's why I see pressure that derive sand particle, sea, uh, I mean earth crystals, gems, and when we see that on the light spectrum, when our atmosphere reach our atmospherical ceiling, that they was calling the firmament in the Bible, but it's our atmospherical ceiling that separate us from the other density water cycle, that, that, that produce what we call the sun, when those two things interact and produce it on a mass scale, and then that's how we're creating our mass, mind and body, mind bend in on itself, men become flesh, thought become flesh, and gets to experience at a lower, slower vibrational movement before it expires. So we call that an accumulation of light things, like a cloud being heavy, so it takes longer to expire. That's what your body is. Not you separating yourself from that. So, of course, if you already born from a geographical location, from that, from how to how to astronomy and astrology was coming out of the become a land creature, right? Of course, after you already built the tissue. If you was to go move, if you white and if you was to go move somewhere in Florida or something like that, yeah, of course you'll skip. Of course you ain't going to get darker. You're just going to be redder. Have a good tan. Of course, if you black and you go move to Alaska, you're not going to get whiter because that that's not the starting point of it. But in actuality, when you understand the real starting point of it, you're still saying what I'm saying. You're, you're just missing the other part of the knowledge. So the other part of the knowledge puts you in a situation where you have to separate the human body from the sun in a weird way while still trying to connect it, but still come up with dumb arguments that make sense based on it being on a false pretense, a, a wrong starting point. So it's like you explaining you not from the sun, but you still trying to explain you from the sun. Well, I'm trying to tell you, you from the sun, but not from it how, in that mind state. You are it. That that production right there is what you are. When water, high velocity moving objects crash, it produces something and that's what we're calling light. 
a mention, emitting. And, that, and when that thing does it uh, for a whole bunch of times in one area, it built accumulation and that caused density, condensing. And now we got that, we got a collection of that form in one rooted area that's moving slower vibrational wise. So that frequency is moving slower. So we, and then we call that vibration, a frequency moving slow or a frequency that's moving. We call that vibration because these are the same things. We're just pointing to things, but we're trying to understand the different transitions of it. Y'all get lost into it being something different. So you you hear words like clouds, wind, water. You think that's something different. No, these are different words pointing to a different transition of, of one thing. See what I'm saying? And when you understand it from that perspective, now you're able to understand how something is crafted, how something is constructed, all the way to the metaphysics. And you'll be able to develop a mathematical system behind it. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, check this out, right? Who keep putting all these goddamn uh, Hebrew words up here? That You ain't going to have no power. That they, it ain't give you no more power uh, uh, than the English language. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, the Hebrew, all, all that is the English language. Latin, uh, listen, every language was, it's not, because this is where y'all get flunked out. Y'all thinking somebody's language stealing somebody else from language. No, all language is one language. The Japanese ain't saying nothing different than the English people. It's just a different native tongue. When you start to understand that, then you'll start to understand. Now, there's certain words they don't want y'all speaking anymore. So, di so just because you're saying something that we can say in English and Hebrew doesn't mean anything. It's just the government updating every time they take over another civilization and the older ones die and the younger ones got to take over based on oral tradition. That's it. Y'all be putting too much power in words. That's why y'all lost in that term, uh, the word of God and shit like that. Man got y'all worshiping words with meanings behind it. That's it. That's all. It don't, it don't necessarily go any further than that. So if you think it do, you got to show me. You got to stop being a troll on people's online pages. You got to do something to make the Pope get up out their seat and see and show them something that they claim they ain't seen in the Bible. You got to do a lot of work other than being online claiming that your religion is the best because it makes you feel good and you don't got no mathematics behind it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Well, I'm saying that's harder. That's harder than any any uh uh hapalu, hupalikalu, akalu, and all that goddamn shit. Now look, check this out, right? So uh, for the most part, this is letting you understand the higher gravity, which is gravitational pull, getting attention. So that's the esoteric gravity. How can you attract attention? How can you draw people to you? So you got you got to have a sounded thought, right? So it's it's based upon where you direct these energies at. So thinking, emotion. And that creates light. When you bring a thought and a feeling together, it produces a vision, right? So that's light. So, and then with that vision, right, you can do that in that same area for large portions of time. And then it starts to become the one, two, and third dimensional version of it. Velocity, volume, and mass. Because that mind state condenses. Because you accumulated the thought, the feeling, produced the light, and you kept producing that womb to be bigger. And now that boom, that womb got bigger. Now you're bringing that idea into reality. And this is how we make organs too, into the one, two, and third dimension. So thought is a correspondence of velocity, speed. Emotion is a correspondence in the one, two, and third dimension to value, the shape. And mass is a correspondence in this reality as darkness, aka light condensing on itself. And the heavier the object, the more invisible. So this is why the lighter the object is always going to take the shape and form or get encapsulated by the heavier object. This is why you see clouds, rainbows, and the sun and the moon. No fucking different. The sun and moon are not objects out there. These are things getting created as events. You can only see within the atmosphere. So if you was outside of this atmosphere, you wouldn't be able to see no sun. You will be in darkness. The bigger atmosphere, water. So for the most part, here's the thing. Now, so when you bring a thought, that's velocity. So a thought is speed. The emotion is volume. That's going to be the, the, the shape of it. So you have to shape your emotions. If you got negative emotions, those weak and small. If you got powerful and potential emotions, those big and strong. You know what I'm saying? So that's the emotion. And then the velocity is the speed. Are you a quick thinker? Or do you think slow? Are you mentally retarded? So that's the speed of your spaceship. I'm giving y'all the techniques of how to build your spaceship. So, you know what I'm saying? 
The thought is correlated to velocity, speed. The emotion is correlated to volume down here in the one to a third dimension. That's the, that's the shape. Then the light, once you accumulate it, it becomes density, mass. That's going to be how heavy it is. So all that light, that, that thought, feeling, velocity, volume, right? Speed, shape. Once you make it so, once you make it so fast and you make it so much of a weird type of shape, it becomes heavy. It becomes light. It becomes dark. But dark just means heavy and that's mass. Now you could be impactful with that idea that you brought down here. Because once it dropped, once it rained, it's explosive. It's sounded. So it's going to spark awareness from other spirits to pay attention to that light, that information, that intellect, that it don't, it's not seen as a light. It's seen as darkness, an uh, influence, because it's already came. This is how we're making light. So I'm explaining how we make light and how we make the heavier object based upon making the lighter versions, light and weight. So a person will catch the influence. Instead of them actually seeing the light, they will be influenced by you. They got impacted by it, by you, by your fluid that you drank down here. Now, you can say that's pseudo, but this is what you're technically doing, and this is what we are doing, Teamwork Makes a Dream Work, to make the rain, the atmosphere we're in. Now, look. And humans be thinking they're most important. Everybody is involved. All animals, parasites, bacteria, we all involved based upon our expansion and contraction wisdom level. So that's the level of organ we're going to make at the moment and the level of intelligence we're going to have and awareness we're going to have. So it's a dog-eat-dog -dog food chain for a reason. You're not supposed to care about death or getting eaten because, you know, that's that's helping you transform just off that awareness. Y'all just getting trapped into one mind and one organ and a shadow government who like reincarnation spells based upon this Masonic ritual that we're getting ready to get into. Because it's, it's all about making a heaven down here and they're calling here heaven. Y'all just making it a hell. But anytime a spirit get inside of a mind and make a body, the, the world is considered a heaven that you're supposed to build. And reincarnation or book of the dead is a concept of understanding how this is the living dead. Living, dead. This flesh is dead, but the reason it's living because it got a spirit inside of it. So it's how to reawake the dead re by necromancy, reawaken thoughts that made that organ that expired that we don't want to expire anymore. So that takes us into mummifying, uh, Eastern continent knowledge, Masonic, Gilder knowledge, uh, Egyptian knowledge and stuff like that. So this would this help you understand what they're practicing and why you even have a funeral before you want to come argue with me. Of, but God's word said this in the book of Ecclesiastic. But, but your grandma died and you participated at her funeral. You, you got the veil over your eyes at this point. You got the veil over your eyes. You I, at this point, I wouldn't even want to have a discussion with you. But the way. Wisdom is now because we're all awakened. It's almost like this is like the whole world now. So building a community is very important now. You you have no choice now because we at the end of the world. So people even may play out characteristics of playing their own gods in order for them to understand as spirits. We're not supposed to give a fuck about none of that and even call ourselves gods. And that's a, something somebody came up with by the power that the spirit had by creating a mind. And we're just supposed to be on all even levels. And that's being a harder God than anything. But we got to get rid of that. This mind frame that keep y'all reincarnating. It's, it's deep. I can't even start talking to y'all like this yet. I'm, I'm reaching un, un, un territory, un, unwarranted territory right now. Yeah, I might can't start talking like this in the next like 30 years. Now, look, let me let me show y'all what they're doing for a second. Now, as a spirit, this is our actual power, the ability to create states of awarenesses, a.k.a. the mind. And we have many minds. So many states of awarenesses are representations of how we create a cycle. And then out of these representations, we actually make the actual cycle. So we're actually able to be aware of our conscious, aware of our fluid. We even call it consciousness awareness. But this is our mind. And we got many versions of these things. Now, there's the thing, right? The thought and feeling creates the light. Now, a person can say the pseudo while doing what I'm getting ready to say to develop that idea. The thought and feeling creates the light that, that's uh, in your, uh, that whatever that they're trying to call light and things of that nature, a.k.a. the vision, 
aka the fire element. And that's the heavier internal half of your divine masculine, aka the father, which is the title for it in all ceremony practices. So anytime you hear somebody talk about the father, they're talking about the further star, aka an idea before a descendant idea. That's how you practice it as below. That's how you have a, a begotten son. Not you saying, well, in God's word, in this book, it said God's had a begotten son. So now it's a history. No, it's a practice that men doing on earth to feel like it's important enough to write down. Having a begotten son is having an idea, that'd be the father, and having a subsidiary idea of it, that'd be the son, the descendant. So let's say I wanted to create a sport. Let's say the sport deals with a basketball. That would be the begotten son, the idea that I gave that we're calling a basketball. That would be the begotten son of me wanting to create a sport. That would be the father. Now that's the as below aspect of it. The as above, Masonics, they got concepts of it of look to the east, right? So when you look to the left, you're looking towards the beginning. So you understand that, how to do reverse memory and look towards the beginning of things. And it's help you add intellectual properties of how things get springed in in the first place. And then when you take that a step further, you're finding the left eye of the bull uh, which will be in the Pallades, what they're calling Pallades, and that will be Aldebaran, the fixed star. That's the solar plexus of the Orion constellation in, in the eastern sky, right? So that takes you to have the higher knowledge to be a master for one or someone, and you will be able to tell someone else how they can adjust themselves from their indoctrination and their upbringing and their early beginnings. Anytime they walk into that lodge and face the face the east and the master for one, and that the lecture is going to be based on that. But also, in this motherfucking shit, right? Um, that's the beginning of spring. So this is the correspondence of why they call in Aries the fire element, right? Because it brings the heat, which transform or separate or melt. And we're able to experience temperament or temperature, right? So for the most part, uh, um, when you practice that as above, so below, anytime you create a light, you bring a thought and you bring a feeling together. And then that produces a vision. That's what they're calling the father or he. Or him. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times a, a Christian might not know why they call God him. But see, I'm wise enough to, to tell them why. Because I don't have a bias. I'm not arguing from an atheist perspective or religious perspective. I, I only know how to teach a fool. So they'd be saying God is a he. Then when you try to pin them now, they don't know why they say that. Then they're going to go back to saying it's just a chakra. It's just a desire. It's just a feeling. Or it's just love. Or it's just a, it's all, them, those are all the same words for chakra, intuition. So the same thing. Keep doing the same term. You ain't saying nothing different. So for the most part, what you have to uh, uh, tell an individual and shit like that is that's what the fuck they're calling man, the masculine energy, which is an idea. And the Jews created specific, all the whole book is titles, not just Satan. So there's specific names. That that idea leads you to what they think leads to more prosperity in some shape, shape or form. So the masculine idea, fire element, is going to be correlated to anytime you hear the term the father. So anytime you come up with a thought, you receive that from the father. So this is why God always come in the light or in fire. See what I'm saying? Because it's an allegory to the fire elements. This, and each element have the gods of it based on how they broke it down in Mesopotamia. So any practice after that is just a subsidiary version of when the shadow government and their descendant masons came and took over that geographical location and raped the people. And so you trying to argue one pyramid from the other pyramid is how you as a fool. This is not this is not a government stealing from people in woods. This is the government coming to people in woods and making them stop being in woods. So when we start to talk about mathematics and structures in general, that's not from no people that's just in woods. It's only from people that's developing that and taking over people in woods. That's it. There is no ancient group of people who were slave minded coming up with no mathematical tricks to come up with no calendar. Motherfuckers is not thinking about following the sun and coming up with allegories, how it means for us it down here. So if you think that based on your grandma or this ancestor, or uh, if I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. So I'm a Kemet priest or something like that. Then you got the wrong idea. Your, don't, your ancestors was only doing something that a shadow government did. And, and since your ancestors didn't like the, the way the shadow government was treating them, 
They created voodoo, a.k.a. took their words and their meanings that they was ruled by and claimed that it was something separate than them and claimed that that thing is going to come save them from these people that they got these words and meanings from and things of that nature. And that's the creation of the conscious community. That's the creation of Kemet. That's, that's the creation of all this voodoo shit and, and everything. And none of y'all got no magic. The only people who are doing the magic the right way is the Pope and them. I don't give a fuck about what you talking about. All of it is magical thinking. You got that. You got that from them. You got the, the term spirit from them. You got everything from them. You just need to learn how to be an individual in some way, shape, or form. Now look, check this out. So it ain't even no such thing as somebody talking about African spirituality. Okay, that's when the Masons was over there and put that on y'all. I don't. Why is y'all making that uh, argument like somebody stole that spiritual system? spiritual system itself came from them that didn't come from y'all the only the only thing and, and i'm an indian so i can tell you because I, that race ain't shit the only the only motherfucker thing somebody in the woods can claim is speculatism and we and you only develop that sometimes when you be being attacked and and what is speculatism the ability to have an object on your mind and play out those characteristics and traits this is why even in Wakataka, you're always going to see a, a man acting like a star inside of a circle and some shit like that, right? So your higher natures is the stars. Your lower natures is the is the uh, mother nature of your body. I can go cut up a bear and make, wear some bear cloth, but that ain't just what it is about. It's acting out the energy of a bear too. So regardless of how puny my body is, predators will refuse to attack me. Other humans will refuse to attack me because of my aura. So that's the only thing we got. That That's what they stole from Indians. And then they just over-exaggerated because they started to make objects out of the trees and things. So now they they did it like, like Super Saiyan Plus because you mean to tell me you can make, you can melt a metal, do the as above, so below, make a gun, and then do some Indian speculative shit and have a gun mentality on your mind? Man, they done did all kind of shit now. They got like Shakespeare allegories, operational variable. So they, they just cobalt mines. They steal, they steal the creativity and cobalt it. But what y'all be claiming they stole ain't ain't the create, creative part of it. It be the cobalt mine of it. And ain't none of y'all ancestors did that. Because none of y'all even know anything. The shit y'all into now to claim y'all got y'all ancestors to, don't lead y'all to know about astrology. Y'all get online and look dirty. Uh, um, and, and look like y'all barely corrupt two nickels together. Y'all don't know nothing about logical fallacies. Y'all don't know nothing about uh, uh, it's all confirmation bias, genetic fallacy. Uh, uh um, uh, um, since I'm since it's peer reviewed, I'm right. Y'all don't know any. It's like it's weird. Y'all don't know mathematics. Y'all don't y'all don't know no science. Y'all don't know no astrology. So you can't you can't even bring these things together the way the shadow government created all these things to bring them together to get y'all lost and divide and, con and conquer. You're lost in one of these things and trying to get their crumbs, practicing their voodoo witchcraft, and it only work on people who look just like you. And the moment your grandmother or somebody like that don't believe what you believe in, they the devil now. Then that's all you know how to do. It's like that's all you know how to do as a human. Y'all you gotta, gotta evolve y'all mind. And y'all low key, y'all gotta, 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 hey, oh hey, hey, gotta, gotta low key get out of this shit. Y'all gotta low key get out of this shit that had y'all trapped for the past 20, 15 years. Now, a lot of y'all probably for the past five or six years, but it's a lot of bullshit knowledge online. You know what I'm saying? That really don't lead to anywhere being standing corrected. You know what I'm saying? For example, the higher natures is the stars. So my logo is a star. So even I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Matt, you ain't no making it here. But since I'm who I am, and it don't make it no better that I'm Uriel, I understand magic. So just me knowing the esoteric knowledge about a star, so I got the right intent on how to wear it as an aura, it don't matter if I'm somewhere and it don't even look like it's possible to be a star. I still became a star amongst all these people. And God showed me, I sat back and looked at it as a confirmation. Even if I'm not a celebrity, even celebrities will look at me like he got star power. He like a star. Now, they might not know why they say that. They might just think I'm creative or something like that. Me being a more adult spirit, I know why they saying that because I know what I'm doing behind closed doors. Witchcraft. Everybody doing witchcraft. It ain't what you do. It's how you do it. It's shit. That's my, when you know how to do something, life just play out that way. 
You could be somewhere in a barn, in a farm somewhere that you know nobody will ever pay attention. Thank you so much for the cash app. Nobody would never pay attention to your city or your state. And if you practice what I'm practicing, I guarantee you end up being in the same situation I'm in. Motherfucker. This real shit. I'm living proof. Magic is real. Magic squares is real. Magic circles is real. If you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing. And and see, people want to listen, then regurgitate it. Even when that is something that they accept and that they want to practice. And it's always leading towards something that the shadow government already created. So you, you're this is how you sacrifice an angel or God's knowledge for the demon world. And you're going to demise yourself. And you might create an enemy out of the person you was learning from. No, it, the whole purpose is you learning these things yourself. So it's not used for something. For an example, what I just broke down, the only reason I know about that, because I went outside and tracked the sun myself. So when I break down stars as water and my version of astrology, it's because I put myself in the same position as the people y'all choose to learn astrology from for y'all to even get online and type in your date to, to learn. So you don't you don't know your ascendant by just going outside. You only know your ascendant because you typed it in on a computer. That's what I mean. But me, I, I don't like that. And I'm an Aries Sage Moon and Terry's Moon at that. Uriel and then Leo Ascendant. I don't, I, I'm Uriel. I know, I know how things is created. So I picked any form to lead me to even learn it that way. Anytime I go into a new body. So you can know your Ascendant without the goddamn computer. All you got to know is whatever season we in, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning, that constellation rises in that position. So whatever hour of the day you was born, you're going to be that ascendant and that sun sign, which takes us into the 144,000 first correspondence. It's only 144 alignments between a sun and an ascendant. So everybody in the world can only have between 144 alignments between the sun and the ascendant. Whether you are Libra ascendant, Sun and Aries, Sun and Taurus, Scorpio ascendant. It only add up all the way to 144. If all if all of us were sitting in a circle, we will make 144,000 spoke, a esoteric spoke like a wheel. Like if you went and got some rims with a, like thousands of spokes, right? This what it would look like in the esoteric world if all of us like had all different uh, Sun and ascendants. It only add to 144. Let's say we all found each other down here. We found each other from the spiritual world down here. Now, let's say we all about to practice a ritual and we all create a circle and make 144,000 spoke the, the way it's supposed to be. Because we can do that. But if each individual ain't the subsidiary ones, you're not that actual spiritual concentrated group that's supposed to been in that same geographical location when y'all made y'all organs and shit and family. Because we all got scattered in the spiritual world. And, but, but then when you do that, right? That soul chamber is supposed to let you understand your little spiritual soul tribe and, and y'all get all the ideas of how y'all built y'all little Babylon community down here and things of that nature. So it's all about bringing the mind into the physical. And that's the esoteric hidden knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Because there is no such thing as physicality always being here. The, it has to be an observer. So I'm telling you, team, where it makes the dream work. You're just getting lost in someone else's shit and you don't know that that's what they're actually saying. Because you're, argu you're arguing from a God and you're, you're claiming God ain't par uh, part of this world outside of time. Obviously, that's what I'm talking about, an observer. So before time, before physical, there had to be an observer. So when I tell you your spirit is your space and in and, and all existences, even when we already here, we see assistance. We don't see one thing first than another. We see everything need assistance. So there is no such thing as even when we take it to what you didn't know you was talking about, but I'm telling you to a three-year-old, the observer before physical, it ain't no such thing as just one observer either. So it's always going to be space within space. So just because one observer becomes aware and make a light first before another one, it takes another person to become aware to be aware of that, to even create authority or who's bigger, who's smaller or whatever like that. But it took both of them to even create a ram around it or one to just be in a world by itself. So once we even get into that dialogue, the one who was aware first have to really justify if they was actually here first or not and just come to their come and harness their ego. And the one that came after have to actually consider if they was here first or not and then they just didn't observe this motherfucker later so 
everybody have their own first, regardless if they became aware after once we already here to calculate that or not. So this lets you know, having an argument about something being here first, you're lost. First is something we're pointing to as a spirit to show us that we all have that ability. Anything a spirit in the body is writing down to point to is something we all can experience, but we all here or would be no such thing as that. So coming up with a goddamn mental state that got something to do with once upon a time, there was a world where it was just an individual thing. And it made all other people, individuals from it, got to be the dumbest, retarded shit in the world. Because it took you to be aware and to be the observer to come up with that conclusion. So it you had to be aware for your first time here, too. And the thing that you point to to claim that you did that, you're going to start to realize that's a figment of your imagination. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Because you just becoming aware and another spirit just becoming aware, that's us creating the world around us. And then you create your own bubble, your own mind out of that wave. And then for the most part, us being able to relate our flauntness is why we talking stupid. But that's all we did. But all of us made God all possibilities possible. It's impossible for you to be impossible because you're possible. You see what I'm saying? So you have to make God possible because God don't exist. You have to make God exist because God don't exist. You have to make all possibilities possible because all possibilities don't exist. So as a spirit, all of us came together and limited ourselves because as a spirit, if we didn't create no mind around ourselves, we wouldn't have fall, but we wouldn't exist either. It is be space within space. So there is non-existence. It's just nothing. You don't get to make something out of that. Now, when you became aware amongst a bunch of whole other, a bunch of other spirits, we separated each other. So we separated ourselves from all possibility. We separated ourselves from God. Our, that's the concept. Not you saying that's a thing. No, that's the concept. This is a concept of all possibility. Our ability to make nothing look like something for us all to be together in an energy, but make it represent like it wasn't no energy. For, for all to be something before to make it look like it's nothing is what we're doing. But that's what's causing confusion. So for the most part, we're, our ability to bring us all together in something that we created out of separation is our concept of creating God or creating all possibilities. Since each individual spirit can't do that, that means you're not God. That means you're not nothing. That means you're not all possibilities and things of that nature. So for the most part, when we strive to try to get there, that's us striving to be all possible. That's us striving to be God. So whatever idea we create that don't look like something we previously create because we fell in the first place existing, then for the most part, we're making our damaged energies look more better because now we're more experienced. So that's what we're saying make it look like God or make it look like nothing because we're bringing nothing into something. And for the most part, we failed just doing that. But since we want to experience nothing again, because we know we made a mistake, that's the only way to get back to all possibility. The only way to get back to God, but we keep failing because we keep making something out of nothing. So the only thing we can do to be with God is to have a piece of all possibility, a piece of space a piece of individuality. And the better we can connect our individuality to make it relatable, we can have God on earth. We can have all possibilities on earth. We could be like nothing before. We could become something new. We could be new glorified bodies. And that's how you be on a walk with God. So whatever character you give it, that's your magic. But if you giving it some demonic kind of characters, you got demonic magic. If you giving it some good characters nobody never seen before, them some good godly magic. So I'm saying so you are the representation of God. So for the most part of all possibilities. So what you represent expands the universe. So you bring a piece of God down here, a piece of nothing, and you make some out of it. You make an object that look like and think and feel what it means to be in peace at the moment. So there's levels on a percentage scale. Some of it you made on a higher, lighter spectrum. Is invisible. You might just be able to experience it. The spirit have experiences. So you, you experience it as an energy, an aura. I feel, I think at peace. Then that condense as an actual object God will give you. Whatever you direct that energy towards that we made to make, to make you be like, oh, I got this partner. I got this object. I got this video game. I got this food that put me in peace. And therefore, as a spirit, you did the mind and the body ritual God wanted you to do because you know you failed. 
So the more you keep using this shit and saying, I don't give a fuck, life is life, only live once, you just a fucking demon. The more and more all these words, all this religion, this God's word, the more you're a fucking demon. The more, because you keep remixing the dead. You keep remixing what's already here. You keep trying to preach words that's already outdated. You keep trying to preach. You're not bringing nothing new here. And, and then you're trying to argue for something that people who have done this already did. Humans came down here and created the business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics you're arguing for for everybody else to not do that no more. So it's like, it's like this is how y'all walking backwards. None of y'all with God. None of y'all is with God. That's why I say y'all be careful when y'all hear somebody out here trying to prove their claim. And the first thing they say is they know the word of God and you can look at them and see they don't practice it. Because if you knew the word of God, you know God don't speak. So why are you using some human's words to tell me you know the word of God? When, if you know the word of God, you know the word is created with the vibration. So it's a location you go to as a spirit, a space. And you experience those states of awarenesses, that vibration, that chakra, that will god's will shot that's a life duh you know what i'm saying and then you experience that so you will be able to see any word that has that energy behind it even when the common sheet will see the word bitch and won't see and won't see it behind it and that's when you can talk like me and say, this is God's word. Dude, as soon as you hear somebody say, this is God's word, and they pull out a Christian book and King James, shut the fuck up. Fuck is you talking about? Leading the people blind. You don't got God's word. You don't even practice it. You automatically don't practice it because you just pulled out a book and start reading a scripture and describing it as that being a God's word. That's not God's word. Where is the magic witchcraft for us to be able to see God's word? Talk about that. And you ain't going to need the Bible to break that down. And then a person to be able to take that and look at any Bible, even a Sunjin Bible in Japan, and be able to see God's word. You don't got that gift. So what are you talking about? I got that gift. I'm the one that can say God's word. Not you. What the fuck is you talking about? Thank you so much for the donation, Big Brad. I appreciate that for the bottom art. Real shit. What the fuck is you even talking about? You don't even know the state that the people was in who wrote it to know what they was talking about. Unless you about to have a 2,000 year old argument with me and I'd rather not. Because you get ready to, all you get ready to say is how some people 2,000 years ago could see something that we can't seem to see today. That was in name mom. Stupid ass, flunked out ass spirit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Give a fuck about what you talking about. Oh, uh, now look. So, now, as spirits, this is our actual power, the ability to create states of awarenesses, a.k.a. the mind, right? The thought and feeling creates the light that's that that get emitted, a.k.a. the vision, a.k.a. the fire element and the heavier internal half of your divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? Your divine masculine is air and earth. Your divine feminine is uh, uh, water. I mean, uh, water. I mean, your divine masculine is motherfucking air and and fire and your divine feminine is uh earth and water uh so earth earth and water leads to vulnerability when you are emotionally connected to a material or something that helps you be grounded that's the esoteric earth energy right then that's vulnerability you know what i'm saying your ego anytime you want to give thought or express air your characteristics your passions your visions fire you know what i'm saying and that's the ego and when you blend the vulnerability Water and earth and the ego, fire and air together, you, you make an ether, an eternal net, a phoenix. And that phoenix is interchangeable. It goes through all the gods. You have control over all the powers, right? And you invert the star uh, uh, into the upright version, right? Where you control the fire, water, air, and earth below as an ether. And it looked like a new kind of cloud, not no floating fart cloud you inside of as a spirit. Supposed to be a superhero, but you on low grands, low grounds on all the sand and grass, very low with all the other spirits, fart clouds and shit. And y'all look like y'all on some spiral cycle. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Going down some Masonic shit toilet, some shit. Being reincarnated over and over again. And your spirit can't seem to figure out it's not the mind. So it's stay in that cloud and keep rechanging that same. And then let the science teach you when you wake up. 
the first law of thermodynamics. Energy can't be created or destroyed. So yet they keep making y'all make the same energy and not create another one. Where God show you, we create energy every day. We just got a problem with destroying it. And that's why we can't get back to heaven. We keep making more accumulations, heavier, slower, longer lasting demonic rams for y'all to complain about when you get born in it. How the fuck we seeing new species and making new children and we got the first law of thermodynamics talking about energy can't be destroyed. How the fuck am I adding air and balloon, air in the balloon then? Motherfucker, we create energy every day. I create new thoughts every day. That's the energy. The fuck? That don't even make no sense. You don't see nothing. You don't see that in life. One energy just taking a different shape and form. You see, you see new energies. Every motherfucker day. Every time you see water crashing, that's you see one fluid. That ain't the energy itself. The fluid is that, that could be non-existent. That could be like this impactful and things of that nature that accumulate. And we make different versions of that. So when another spirit become aware, that's a different ver a new version. A new is new. It's added on to it. We gotta give new names to it, all kind of shit like that. It might look like the same because it's the substance looking, but it's different. That's why string theory is wrong. Because they trying to tell you is one particle that can disappear and be in two places at one time no bitch the only reason you're seeing two things in two different positions because that's that one thing taking a different shape and form and another spirit had to make another form be aware for it could be added onto it for it could even be bigger or it'd just be one size so there is no such thing as expansion or something getting bigger and smaller if it's one energy that can't be created or destroyed that's stupid how the universe expanded in how how person belly getting bigger than expansion something new have to be brought in bitch I don't give a fuck if what's being brought in new is created by the same mechanism. You know what I'm saying? So it's still new, motherfucker. Y'all just don't know how to decipher energy and encapsulate it and, and, and objectify it. Now some objective shit. Now we got to float the electric manic, manic ball. That's God. No, nah, y'all got to get out of that shit. But the thought and feeling creates the light that gets emitted. And, the vi and, and that's the vision, a.k.a. the fire, the element. Or the heavier internal half of the divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? The heavier than air version of it. And then for the most part, um, aka, this is considered the father in all of the ceremony practices. So religion is a ceremony practice. Christianity is a ceremony practice. All of these are little lodges that Masons wanted to do a better world. Because it's always about adjusting. It's always about filling the blank. Filling the monad. Filling the Looney Tunes. Fill, fill in the Captain America logo. Right. So create a cosmos as above, so below. And every time a new generation or a new civilization is created, uh, create your concept of it. And the more wittier you are, the more we need to put you on the watchtower as the Mason or the Jesuit or the goddamn it, the Jew. Now, ex now, also. Here's what they do when it comes to. Adrenaline and things of that nature. Right. So as a spirit, we already made this mind and these organs. So now they've been playing with this for thousands of years, right? This is why it gets us into mummification, right? Let's see enough we can make new bodies and shit like that, new parasites. That's how mos mosquitoes is even made. I got mad videos about shit like this, right? Where when you go through a new experience as a spirit, because the spirit just having experiences, you develop new ideas, aka these are chakras, mental forms, right? And then they bend in on itself and you start to be aware of things very differently. So this develop adrenaline. Blood cells, our mind bend in on itself and develop as adrenaline, blood cells, blood flow. That this is how we create blood. Or there would be no such thing as you sweating and tearing and shitting and crying and shit like that and things of that nature. If your mind, if you're not developing that mind state first to make that organ built adrenaline. What do you think adrenaline is? You're making blood inside of you. How you think you get red? How you think your dick get hard? As a spirit, you go into that chakra, you go into that desire, you go into that intuition, you start to be aware of everything in that intuition. As a spirit going into that space, you have to be aware of all the things you created in that space, the states of awarenesses. Those are the states, the root chakras are the ones that made the sexual organs. Since you already got a sexual organ, all you got to do is go to that chakra, go to that mind state. Another same word. As a spirit, you go inside of that mind state and then you see the world through the lens of that filtering system. So you start developing that womb to be bigger. Awareness is light. You're building more water cycle and building more mind. Right. So you made blood. So eventually you're going to make an egg cell or your dick going to get hard because of all the blood rush. I, I, I hope you don't think that's not what's happening. So if a person saying I'm pseudo right now, 
you might as well throw all esoteric knowledge and you might as well throw your Bible away. It's all talking about this. The holy oils, the crystals, the Christ being in this mind state, lowering it down to your lower chakras and developing that fluid, sacrificing Jesus and creating a sperm cell. I, I hope you don't think it's talking about something different. Like, I, I, hope you, I hope you don't think it's talking about something different. When we talk, when we started talking about divine revelation and, and, and federal headship and hypostatic union, I just hope you don't think it's talking about something different. When the spirit is in a certain space, it manifests a certain demiurge, and that demiurge becomes flesh, fleshly fluid. The father and Jesus is flesh. The spirit is not corporeal. Please, I, I hope you don't think it's talking about something different. So if you're talking about I'm pseudo, you don't know your Bible. The father is the body because it was the further idea first. The mind that bent in on itself to become flesh first. The son is the descendant. The, the descendant thought that came after the first thought. So your mind is inside your body. Solar plexus. The spirit is non-corporeal. The spirit is creating that. So the spirit is inside the mind, Jesus. And Jesus, to get through the father, got to go through Jesus. When you die as a spirit, you go through your mind and you'll be able to see your body from the outside. The father is not talking about nothing else. These are terms for masculine and feminine, not you calling yourself male or female and God was a he like a history book. He was walking on this earth. Is you retarded? It's an esoteric book about you, bitch. Duh, that's the hyperstatic union. So you will be a theologian trying to argue something stupid because an atheist put your back against the corner. Anytime they ask you who the fuck was God, who the fuck was Jesus praying to if, if, if Jesus is God in the flesh. You have to bring up the hyperstatic union, the federal headship, and you're not even going to know what you're saying. When Jews was practicing this for themselves to even think it's important enough to write it down. Start there first, bitch. Then you will start to see all they did was teach you how to pray. All they did was teach you how to talk to yourself. All they did was made an allegory to when Moses went to the top of the mountain, a spirit going to his higher chakra, crown chakra, develop an idea, go back down to his natures, his lower nations, his desires, and say, no, nah, we're not going to do that inside. You could do that outside now to a community. Come down and tell them you got a message from your idea. And when they ask you who said it, say, I am. So in their eyes, looking at Moses, it's Moses saying, I came up with this idea. Re replace the name I am with Moses. It's a person going to their flaming bush at motherfucker 1150 a.m. right here before 12 p.m. cancer to rain down a idea to give to other individuals. And when a other when a person asks you where you get that idea from, tell them I am. You know, you know what nothing, nobody in that burning bush for somebody to be writing it down and say Moses seen something in a burning bush, bitch. So for the most part, you know, it's an internal something of something thought it was important enough to even write it down because you're doing it first, bitch. So when you so the story is about Moses saying, I am as OK, I came up with this idea, not for no theologian who don't know what they reading and to say God's name in the Bible is I am. Are you fucking retarded? God, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, or the Bible wouldn't be written in that context. So I think they're more in my mind frame than yours. So you John Van Tillian motherfucker, uh, uh, Cornelius Van Tillian Christians, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. You're retarded. Y'all don't, y'all don't even know nothing about these Latin words. The hemenicato, communicato, communicato. It's, it's basically a different term for communication with communication. Just because it sounds pretty with Latin, who gives a fuck? It's a different term than, that, than I can say in English. Communicating with the spirit. Bitch, shut your ass up. But they had no long argument with you because you know a word that means the same thing. If you practicing it, stop following the people and go with the practice, motherfucker. And you'll know what the fuck they talking about. That's how you stay corrected. You have the mathematics. You have the actual science and the knowledge. Then you use it. You use their source against them. So that's how you come to a debate with no source using the person source. When you know the starting points and the correspondence, you stand corrected because your mind frame is how their text and their source is written. So when they get all Western Roman retarded out and shit like that, you're able to break down their scripture better than them. So your source become their source. You know what I'm saying? And that's how God teach you not to debate. How do you just be a teacher? Even if you're in the middle of something that somebody calling a debate. You know what I'm saying? You just drop, you just teaching a person they don't know what they fuck to talk, they talking about. And they're gonna try to break it down. And every every word they say, and they they mind gonna be fucked up. Cause 
every word they say to defend themselves gonna be proving you right. Like they're gonna be knowing it. They're gonna be like, oh damn, he's saying the same thing. He said, but they don't got no other way to defend. So they just gonna like go ahead and say it, saying the same thing you saying. Just they didn't know that they ain't know it was like that. They ain't know it was that simple. So it's like, so it's like this is how the dumb and dumb human Roman Western mind is today time in today's time. But look, this the hidden, this the uh hidden craft right here. No, you don't need no Masonic friend. You need a mental pilot friend. Like I said, thank you so much for the cash app. Thank you a lot. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. You don't need no Masonic friend. You need a mental pilot friend. All the Masons learn from me. All these Jews and Jesuits and Masons and shit, they learn from me. And they know that they shit ain't even right. You get into a masonry, all you go, all they gonna have you do is follow and be in search for light. Right? So and then when you get to the highest degree, you're gonna start to see it was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. And you ain't supposed to be in search for light. You supposed to you supposed to look to the West and you know how light get created. Then you have my knowledge. You'll be able to speak about the past, present, and the future. Not just where the past and where you come from and coming up with a different worldly concept of it, fill in the blank. No, you'll be able to know how that's created. So I'm teaching Masons, stars are water, and that event have to happen first for you to even see that word event in the Bible. Or the waters above, waters below. So they need to stop teaching y'all that the sun was a floating light ball here, even from the NASA perspective. All that, is, all that shit is stupid. Darkness was here first as far as the physical ramification of darkness being an allegory of the magnitude of a collection of light. So we're always darkness because what we call it light, we're just experiencing it being light after it's already heavy. But that's the lighter version, how we made it. So when you take everything to a micro stage, what we would be calling light, it wouldn't be light there either. It would just be a dark density fluid interacting with another dark density fluid. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter how small you want to go back looking to the east. You're retarded. And that's why you keep making Dragon Ball Z cartoons telling people that worship the moon and they turn into Super Saiyan monkeys. You know what I'm saying? The first level of knowledge, Meteor Man. Uh, I'm saying, God, Mason Man. Uh, 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 what, uh, what they call that? Um, melanin Man. Uh, I'm saying, y'all ain't shit. They just ruling y'all and making y'all sound stupid every time they get on their devices from the motherfucking uh, key door, the key maker door in the Matrix, just to see all the TV screens of how y'all lost, just to see how many different ways y'all lost. Why they lay on their stomach. They cut on one of those TV screens. They see somebody in Kemet arguing with a Hebrew Israelite about a war. And this is why something going on. And they sitting back laughing like, yeah, the people that put them in war wasn't in the war, though. Ha, 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 yeah, there's some more dumb humans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, just like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all don't get it. Y'all so we're having an argument about China hate America. The people who even, the puppets, don't know no better. You got somewhere, some shadow government sits somewhere like, yeah, hey, yeah, but we not, we put them both in them circumstances. Ha, 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 ha. Based off symbols, based off how we got the world set up for our global limited hangout depopulation control witchcraft. So they doing the work for us. We're the master builders. We're the, we built their minds into our system. You know what I said? So we just kill our, we kill each other like right on time without them coming to personally create martial law, hanging us upside down on crosses energies. They got so deep with the mind, we do their job for them. We grab the key, go ahead and lock the jail cell for them. Shit, we got always a flash screen in this. And shit, and I, and, I, and I could go destroy somebody with my Christianity. And I said, oh shit, I like this world. And I said, that's it. I said, oh shit. Oh, I could go, uh, I could shoot myself and, and don't die because uh, Jesus will heal me. Oh, shit. No, that's all they need to do. So your spirit will never die, but they just got y'all some psycho shit. And so you just think you hear and some other shit. It's flunked out though. They got everybody in mind. Flunk. Flunk. But check it out. This is what they're doing. Creating names for each character trait they discover. While using the system as above sun travel and period of time and what chakra and organ it correspond to. Right? And then they create circumstances like jobs, sports, and things that deal with your survival moment. Right? A.K.A. external objects to see if the influence of of cause and, and and of cause and effect in that area is sufficient and correct or not negative or positive to build a psychology of it this is also how we create organs create illness and learn how to heal with the uh and heal the body with these things because when we understand certain mind states we understand what organ it created 
You know what I'm saying? When you in this, when you in this mind state, you know you, those organs gonna get aroused. The dick and the pussy. You know when you in this mind state, you know your heart gonna get aroused. You care for something uh, of that nature and want some connection. So I'm giving you the esoteric knowledge before you hear somebody start talking about they know God's word and and then they get ready to call somebody pseudo because they mentioned the word shock, uh, chakra. This is a person who don't know no better. They don't know that the term chakra is just a different term for any any practice masonic practice of calling mental states lights so kudalini snake uh these are all just different masonries taking over ge ge different geographical locations but it's all pointing to the same practice and if you're arguing with somebody like it's different this is what makes you the fool that's the point this is what makes you not the scholar you gotta know how to synchronize this shit or you wouldn't understand why you're lost in divide and conquer Explain to me why you lost in divine and conquer if you about to be an atheist or a religious person arguing that, oh, just because one Corinthian pillar and building look like this on this geographical location in the eastern continents don't mean that they had anything to do with the doors and the waterfronts that they made over here. You you a fool the way that they I'm 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 not sure why you ain't in all the algorithms. I'm I'm not sure why they don't put you in all the you must not pop must not, must not be popping enough. That's because that's what they want people to talk about it like. They want people to sound retarded like that. So that's divide and conquer. You're using your dumbass idea that's not even a, a new idea, a, an original thought, for somebody else's non-original thought, where if you synchronize them, you will be teaching a person what they both lost in and how to get out of that, that demi-urge, arguing. So th that's the witchcraft. A person would be sitting here arguing and trying to prove something to someone else in the witchcraft itself, trying to teach somebody else about... Uh, their knowledge about the witchcraft that'd be like somebody on my channel i'm teaching you about the witchcraft then pull out the bible and be like oh no nah, jesus and god ain't talking about that uh, you a walking version of what i'm talking about now what they did on you with the bible you, you see what i'm saying duh motherfuckers be retarded as hell down here i don't get it walking contradictions they use an argument you could use against them on someone else and be doing the same logical fallacy you have a person tell you, don't listen to the government, right, about religion or the Bible or something like that. And then say you need to listen to this Bible because this Bible is saying it based upon a narrative in it. That's the same practice. Go switching governments. You just lost it. <laughs> Duh. Why are you? What? Y'all, y'all motherfucking God, blow my mind on the Internet. Y'all blow my mind on y'all ego. But for the most part, let's use this as an example. Let's say I created the concept of bungee jumping. When you bungee jump, that's a very new experience the spirit has other than the one you created these chakras and these organs with. So you're going to build another trait, and that trait is going to carry with you as an aura. Now, we're going to give that trait a name, same way how they was making a Bible. Calling one trait Jacob, calling one trait Israel, calling another trait, and they point to certain areas. I ain't getting into that right now, though. But this, I'm giving you the, the starting point because humans still practice that today that you learn from that run the world. All these colleges and shit is named after them. All these stars, satellites, lights on saddles is named after them. You know what I'm saying? Even the planets. Y'all said that shit. Jupiter, that's some Jew name. Y'all y'all just hear it, hear it as it being familiar. So you don't you don't think about it that way. Mars, that's that was somebody's name. And that energy just represent that person encapsulating that feeling and saying that, yeah, we feel this way at this period of time. And we should act like this on earth at this period of time, as above, so below. But that intellectual property, they use the same Lucifer practice. So following that light is like you following Mars, but you're still following someone who created the idea about it first. And that's what they make that energy. Now, you could know that energy for yourself, but... If you only know it based on the basis of it being Mars or Murduk or whatever like that, right? You're basically going on their stream of consciousness of how they created that concept in the first place to name things that. See what I'm saying? Like once I die, my vibe, you can name it as Uriel, right? And for the most part, anybody who act like me, after after that, you be like, oh, this person is a Uriel. Now, when you get into the details of it, the mathematics of it, as above, so below, that takes us into the hidden knowledge of it. Now you become a hidden high priestess in whatever civilization get created at that time. You, you get what I'm saying? This is what they're doing. This is how they're coming up with the encyclopedia. 
This is how they're coming up with psychology. Because they're practicing it and create new psychologies. Based on understanding as above, so below. The water's above, the water's below. As it is in heaven, as it is on earth. Creating a mind and that becomes physical. Creating from the inside out. So upside, up, down, left, right is this a allegory to contraction, expansion, dimness, brightness, closeness, distance. And that's how we get from point A to point B. Accumulation, cycle, formation, teamwork makes the dream work. All of us making this world. Morality, concept, energy, frequency vibrating at a low uh, synchronicity energy. Now, for the most part, energy is just a different term for when frequency and vibration come together. An idea, a frequency, vibration. The ability for it to move in a shape, and like a shape or some shit like that. So once the flat line is not moving anymore, whatever it starts to produce and accumulate, that's what we're calling energy. And it creates shapes and forms and density levels and starts to move at slower rates so as a spirit when we're in that water cycle that's so heavy moving at that slow rate we experience it as the terms we call real or reality so we understand the me mechanisms of it we understand value right shape velocity speed mass the size of it and therefore that's the concept of density and then that's what they're explaining as what gravity is gravity is a mathematical formation between velocity uh mass uh, um, uh, value and that creates density because it's a mathematical event you have to understand Ma velocity is speed the idea value is shape the emotion mass is the weight of it that light becoming heavy right so it can become impactful right and then a now we're able to see why things go up sideways left down all these type of circumstances and why things is well well rounded Right from a metaphysical perspective, what goes around comes around. What you put out, you get back. Because it play like that in the energy world. But and then the, the spirit, we run in cycles around each other, and then we create the mind to mimic the spirit. Let us make man in our image, and then the physicality that get created from the mind, the atmosphere, and this play out in that same cycle. So the better we know how to enter and, and shape in, in the earth that gets shaped out, water didn't land on earth. Earth got shaped and molded and derived out of water. And then for the most part, when we become the in-between creatures to experience the, all the inner-between transitions, the lighter verses teach us the better mind state we in, the better world we create, and that's what we need to do. The, and the negative things that we uh, we interact with as far as poison ivy or things that's not good to the body, that let us know when we created it from the inside out, we was in a negative space as a spirit. So that's the representation of a negative state of awarenesses. So the better we know how to attribute with that and don't let it affect us, we won't create that with our new glorified bodies and world. AKA atmosphere, teamwork makes the dream work, and your particle bubble in that wave, your own mind, your own world in that wave. And as a spirit, we all express our own individuality, what we, we, we created as a teamwork makes the dream work to appear to be similar in many different shapes and forms. And as a spirit, we always, we always can create new energy of that. So energy can be created. It just looks the same, so we think it can't be created. We think it's the same one. But if something expanded, that means we're creating new new energy. Or there would be no such thing as bears, a, a bigger shape and form, bigger than a smaller shape and form. There will be no such thing as that if we're not creating new. There will only be one size that we're just creating different shapes and forms out of. But we got different sizes that come from expansion. Expansion only can come from the, der the derivative, the, the derivative, the derivation of something new. There is no such thing as something expanding without something new being added, period. So the first law of thermodynamics is wrong in God's eyes from an angel's perspective. Update the science, Masons. Update the science, Jesuits. Y'all leading our people blind. And God is not showing us that in reality. God not necessarily showing us what y'all showing us that we only can see in y'all Bibles, Star Trek, and Google scholarships. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The ancients is back. The indigenous is back. We just don't see the bullshit no more. Sorry. That's why I, I don't even care if what you talking about and I could poke holes in it. If it's something new, I support you, period. If it's something new, I support you, period. Because eventually we got to become the new Galileas anyway. So let's let's stand on business right now and fight the good fight. And then once we take all the attention, that's the esoteric currency, they're gonna need to pay us for their commercials and shit. And then then that's when then that's when we can have Galilea. Then that's when we could do these debates and stuff. And because now we're not doing it out of the necessity of need.
Anytime somebody doing something out of necessity and need, it can become cutthroat. And the tactics could be used purely on the premise of biases and shit like that. And the shadow government, all, all they got to do is add energy, knowing what y'all want, low-hanging fruit being in survival towards one of these biases just for you to go out here and express it amongst people who look just like you. And now you're under their witchcraft now again. Once we fight the good fight, we liberate and respirate ourselves. At that point, we're not even in a need to debate. So if we do do it, we're doing it out of enjoyment and destroying each other's minds because we know our knowledge is about to be the one for the next hundred years and all of our knowledge is together. The same way we can sit here and argue with each other, but we got to sit here and name Plato, Galileo, Constantine, uh, 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 Socrates and shit like that. But we know in our hearts they was together. We know in our hearts the way we doing it is taking us to jail. The way we doing it is is getting emotionally abused because somebody destroyed our idea about our religion or something. Like that. So we're we're not ever doing it in the right way. You know why? Because it's out of the necessity of need for their survival and getting crumbs. Once we get rid of that, and one of the directions to get rid of that is let's fight. They fight first. So even right now, even amongst each other, we got to start like they started. They know who was right yet, Galileo and Plato, and they still don't. And we still up under remember all of them. So let's get in that position first. Let's go ahead and destroy all Galileo. Let's destroy all the Masons, Jesuits, and them. Not, let, uh, let's not argue with each other unless we having big debates about how we could blend these things together with synchronicity, synchronicity and, let, and who doing it the best. If we ain't debating on that, and we still debating on one of the subsidiaries, Rockefeller versus Def, uh, versus Interscope, uh, Def Row, uh, uh, Bad Boy versus Def Row, Christianity versus uh, Kim. Oh, uh, now we lost. Let's see the practice itself and let's see the argument, how it compares to them, because we see it, how it's practiced on us every day synchronizing it and then therefore that should be the debate who's doing it better or these are just frivolous arguments we're having in their subsidiaries we need to get the we this is how we get liberated give it attention doing the same things that they made us think is important to make us think it's familiar just to go with their programs again and auditions to get signed again we need those versions then the people the common person who ain't even into science and knowledge when they watching, they're not going to be able to tell the difference. They, ain't, they don't know if they're watching Fox or, or something else. We got to get like that first. But first, we got to compete. We competing with their shit amongst each other. We got to compete with them right now. So if we are competing with each other, we got to do it the way they did it. Right? That's us synchronizing and blending and making a science together. Making a car together. Or, or, or making a cosmos together. Like me. Come, making a mathematics together. M putting our... I don't care what it is. Any kid watching this, their mind is not on anything that leads them into competing, only getting intelligent. So when we get into that in need energy, you're only trying to compete. So you want to rub shoulders with this person, get to know this person, get on this person's stage, get on this person's platform, debate somebody's lost bias from Galileo or some shit. It only leads to that. When you're watching this, it leads to your mind thinking about, oh, I need to be thinking about this. Because this area allows my creative gifts and talents to be expressed. And we, I get to be an individual. And I have some flunked out ass thoughts that I can feel free even expressing them over here. Now I got better ideas that the kid's supposed to be in. Now we got not just basketball and football. We got cook ball You know what I'm saying? Now we ain't got this just beauty salon. We got Cosmonica Universal Han. You know what I'm saying? Some whole other shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But that's how it's supposed to be. And it's motherfucking shit. But as long as they got us in these pressures, peer pressures, that only lead into competitive and survival mode, that only going to be directed towards people who look like you in the wrong way. So you're not doing it like the Galileo way. You're doing it like the the way you get ready to go to jail or be discouraged to get online because your, your knowledge just got destroyed. You're not about to do it in a way where we get rid of the needs and then now we got them needing our platforms for their Jewish movies or things of that nature or their kids to be excited and shit like that. Or it would be no such thing as Meek Mill and Lil Wayne, some Jew person paying them just for a few hours to play tennis with them. That's showing you these motherfuckers just wet off our energy. They can't wait till we create something new to capitalize off of it, a.k.a. make you think you're getting crumbs and you're excited at the moment and hopefully you stop your mission. But you need to rock them to sleep, take them crumbs and make them think you're getting rocked to sleep and, and secretly keep going to make them go harder, give you more. And before they think that they need to do something serious with you, so you about old and get ready to die and enjoy your life. I oh, said you got to get on that kind of time. Like y'all be, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. I'm trying to die like Galileo. 
not, not no goddamn it, uh, uh, some street martyr, some street preacher. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Real shit. Some mafia gangster street, uh, street selling bricks preacher. That's get ready to pull out a red, black, and green flag. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or a purple, the purple Power Ranger outfit or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Nah, nah. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm saying I'm cool. Or somebody pu uh, pulling out a weak ass grandma sword, the Bible or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Man, you ain't even practicing what you preach. You supposed to be practicing what you preaching, this motherfucker. <laughs> You got a you got a whole unk. You don't even use the unk what it's made for. The unk was made to track the sun because they they was saying the sun gave us life. So that it was a it was the the metaphysic version of the body, right? So when you are the magi, you are learning about it when the sheep are too busy being drunks. And when you keep track of it, you come up with Tahuti Thoth knowledge. Alignment, positions, and why you feel certain ways certain days. So you teach that to the people. Now they had called that thought an uh, angel, or that anybody teaching astrology, or call that it. But that this is how people get lost. We are these spirits that came down here teaching these things, melting these metals, teaching people about religion. And a person to be telling you that a person talking about astrology or something like that, they're one of the devils down here. All the spirits here is talking about here, or it wouldn't be in no book. We talking about ourselves. Duh, and we keep making hell by the world we create in our lower chakras. So as long as we keep carrying out these traits, competitive and, and other shit and wanting to materialize, this is the world we in. And we carry out these traits from these chakras as a spirit and things of that nature. We make a more heavenly world all the way to a point we are making more glorified body where birth, life and death isn't so low vibrational, slow moving, reality, realistic, encyclopedia terms of it. Same way you go in one dream and go out another one. That's how a spirit experiences death. It's, it, it's just an experience. The spirit don't die. The space don't die itself. It went out of one form and went into another one. Expansion and contraction. So anytime you hear about spiritual birth or death in the Bible, spiritual death is contraction. The spirit contracting inside of a mind or an awareness, chakra, will it made. A mentality. Now that's form, information. A spirit is experiencing information, light, knowledge, consciousness. Now, when that fades, aka expires, die, that's spiritual birth, metaphysical death, or physical death. The spirit have expanded out of that information. Now that spirit keeps that ability and is able to create a similar or greater form. And this is why y'all don't understand the spirit ain't the mind. So every time the spirit create a mind and a body, it loses memory of how it did it or the experiences it went in a previous form it was in because you don't got the same mind and body you just have the same ability as a spirit and based on the size the ability of expansion and contraction you could just call that the practice of experience experiencing your awareness so that's why everything you're inside of as a spirit has a pulse even your mental and then for the most part when you learn spiritual science you're able to encapsulate and point the energy regardless of the new shape and form you create at the moment the new mind the new body you're able to still encapsulate encapsulate your ability you still got the ability to create that type of outcome you still got the ability to have that type of thought and that type of feeling it's just taking a different form so it's that same energy taking a different form and if your spirit is bigger you created bigger abilities bi bigger versions of that energy so you added new energy of the same alchemy. And therefore, that's how that helped you understand how we accumulate, how you get lost in Lucifer, right? And how we made organs. And it's a story about us getting lost in Lucifer, lost in our light, the first sun, right? So the first sun, your spirit creating the first idea about yourself. That's Lucifer. Then you got the second sun. You got Jesus. Y'all said then you got many other sons. And then we know when they when these things come together, it produce other natures and shit like that. So all of these are different terms describing all of your natures, all your desires. And we made the external representations of our higher natures. We call them the stars. And we made an external representation of our lower natures. We call it mother nature, the trees, the body, the organ. So this helps you understand fire, water, air, and earth when you read the Bible. You understand when it's talking about the tree, it's talking about the body. When it's talking about the organs, it's talking about the fruit. Your desires will make you fucking want to eat. The snake is the kundalini, the chakra, the will, 
the vision, the fire element also for you to see your desires from your body. And you have two sides to your mind. Adam, the masculine that we call man. That's why it's a man name, the Android phone. And then you have the other uh, iOS uh, the, or the other one, uh, the Apple or the Eve. You know what I'm saying? On the other side. And that's your masculine and feminine sides of your body, tree, and desires. See what I'm saying? Your tree, fruit, snake, your body, organs, desires. You know what I'm saying? You have two sides to it, your masculine and your feminine. And anytime you use your emotion to connect to something that soothes the body and the organ, the tree and the snake, right? For the most part, you end up justifying it like it ain't wrong. Adam biting the fruit that Eve gave to Adam. So if you're a theologian or you're talking about you got God's word and you don't understand that allegory, you don't understand what's being practiced. So this is a practice based on the tree and the Genesis is based on the practice, the Kabbalah tree of life. So when you look on the Kabbalah tree of life, you have the right pillar. That's the Eve Sephiroth, the emotion. You have the left pillars. That's the, those Sephiroths is the Adam masculine um, um, Sephiroths. Right. And you have many natures within those. Then you want to take the center path the way the people who wrote the book. You're, they're telling you what they're practicing. Then you take the center path and the center path is what your solar plexus, how the Jesus area having a mentality when Adam and Eve come together to experience mind becoming flesh. Right. Mother feeling father thought child coming together creature. So in Egyptian knowledge. The mind bend in on itself and make the organs, the brain, father, the heart, the mother, the dick and the pussy, the child. When you do these things, you could bring children in the world. OK, so for the most part, it's help you understand our mechanisms and how we crafted ourselves here when you're not able to understand it for yourself because you're just a dope. And I love all y'all from the motherfucker bottom of my heart. Y'all leave these books alone if you if it's only gonna practice witchcraft on y'all ass. Real shit. I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. I see y'all tonight, and I'm definitely gonna lie tonight with open panel. And I'm definitely infinitely gonna do that tarot card reading.